Hello, everyone. Welcome to SCV Means Business, the podcast where we meet the leaders of great companies making a difference in their community. And today, we are really going to hear about uh, companies that are making a big difference. Uh, I'm your host, Holly Schroeder, and I'm pleased to welcome Tony Shepard from AMS Fulfillment and Craig McCrary from Neo Neo Neotech. Craig, you're coming back to the program. So welcome, guys. Thanks for being here today. So today we're going to... Today we're going to talk about something that your two very, very different companies have in common, which is that you are both uh, certified B corporations. And so uh, we're going to explore what it means to be a B corporation and why you guys uh, pursued that path. So why don't we have each of you introduce yourselves a little bit. Uh, and Tony, why don't you go first since uh, AMS has been a B Corp uh, a little bit longer uh, and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about, uh, about AMS. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, so my name is Tony Shepard. I am the Chief Financial Officer at AMS Fulfillment, and we are a third-party fulfillment business. Uh, we actually have about 80 clients that we do business for, uh, where we're shipping several million packages a year on their behalf, uh, sort of like a mini Amazon, if you will, uh, without our own fleet of trucks. And so um, you know, that's a little bit about uh, AMS, but AMS was founded about 18 years ago and the founders predate me. I've only been with the company about a year, but one of the things that truly inspired me to become part of the AMS team was the fact that they were already a B Corp. Uh, one of the things that uh, I had learned along my experience in business was uh, a lot of ways of calling out the companies that were doing good and using business as a force of good, but it wasn't something that was very clearly delineated in any way, like it is now under this flag called a B Corp. And so I know Craig's gonna talk about what, it, what a B Corp is in more detail, but suffice to say that it was all the principles of B Corp that really helped attract me as a senior leader to, to AMS because the founders were, who are still part of the company founded it really on B Corp principles uh, and with B Corp principles in mind, um, things like being socially responsible and uh, doing good in the in the local community and, and doing good by the workforce and a lot of different aspects that Craig will dive into more deeply. Those are all things that I really felt very strongly about and I wanted to be associated with. And so uh, those were very attractive to me personally. So uh, that's a little bit of my background. In, in that's, this. that's great. Um, and so uh, Craig, very different type of business, uh, medical devices. Tell us a little bit about Neotech and your path, how your path started. Thanks. Thanks for having us, uh, Holly. We're, we love to talk about this this topic. So I'm Craig McCrary, the president of Neotech Products. We're a privately held uh, medical device manufacturer. Uh, we actually take concepts from uh, a clinician's thought for a new device, uh, engineer it, manufacture it, uh, develop it, test it, and sell it. So we're a global leader for disposable um, products primarily used in the neonatal intensive care but also in pediatric care. And uh, I just celebrated my 30 year anniversary with the company, but about 25 years ago when we really focused on the neonatal market, we came up with our catchphrase of making a difference. So how can we make a difference to the nurses or the parents or the children? And uh, we've had these charitable initiatives and all, some other things we'll talk about later. And when we learned about B Corp, it was almost like we were already one before we even knew what it was. So it's, it's a topic we'll love to, to share more. So, so let's, let's get into the definition. Uh, what is a B Corporation? Uh, what, what does that really mean to say you're a certified B Corporation? Craig, you wanna start sure. off? So the, the analogy I use that many people might be more familiar with is it's similar, it's a third party certification similar to ISO certification. A lot of people are familiar with ISO for different parts of business and manufacturing. ISO is the International Standards Organization. They audit you to different um, rules and standards. And if you pass, then you are ISO certified to uh, various different um, segments of, of their certification. So a B corporation, a certified B corporation is really essentially the same type of program where a third party, uh, bcorporation.net, um, has you fill out some uh, surveys. I, we'll go into a little more detail on that. But if you meet these standards, uh, you become certified. And one thing they have uh, on their site, and I thought this was a, a good quote, is that society's most challenging problems cannot be solved by governments and nonprofits alone. 
So by harnessing the power of business, B Corps used their profits and growth as a means to greater end a positive impact for their employees, communities, and, and environments. So it's, it's for-profit companies that are then doing that for good to support governments and nonprofits. So when you talk about being a force for good, and I think the ISO analogy is, is good, and then there's a set of standards uh, that you need to, to comply with or adhere to for ISO that you're certified to, what are the types of standards that are used or the metrics that are used in determining, uh, you know, whether or not you can be a certified, whether you pass the, the measure uh, to be a B Corp? Uh, Tony, why don't you kind of talk a little bit about what's happening at AMS there? Well, so uh, AMS has actually been a B Corp now just long enough to have gone through a recertification. Um, and part of this recertification is really to go back and rescore the company uh, again uh, when we first became a company, a, a, a certified B Corporation, a lot like what Craig is saying, because the company was founded on B Corp principles, they almost uh, grandfathered into uh, being a B Corp already because uh, it's based on a point system. And this point system is allocated across a handful of different uh, key areas that I know Craig will talk about in more detail, but it's things like corporate governance, workforce, community environment, and your customers, and these other attributes that, that they then break down into points available based on what you're doing for the greater good in those areas, in those key areas, as well as how you are uh, officially governing yourself, uh, which was a, a big part of the change that we had to undergo as well. Um, because unlike a traditional uh, corporation that is uh, for profit, um, we have to not just pledge to maximize returns to the shareholders, but also to uh, provide benefits to our community, to our uh, you know, our workforce and our shareholders and take all of that into account as we make decisions. And so it's part of our corporate governance. Um, and so we've had to implement changes along the way and we've since increased our score sort of materially as a result of this subsequent audit that we had. We started with a score that was uh, above the minimum, obviously, to become uh, a B Corporation, but there's a lot more points available and we aspire to achieve more of them. I know Craig and I think about it kind of competitively, like who's gonna get more points next time? But the idea is really, it, it's just an extension and a growth and, uh, and, a, and a journey on how can we do this better? And um, and so having just come through this, uh, the, the biggest area that we tend to uh, score heavily on is around workforce because uh, we tend to spend a, a lot of our um, focus and we actually have a workforce development officer who used to be the CEO of the company, who was a co-founder and one of the people who espouses the, the, the B Corp uh, loudly as anyone. Um, and, um, and he is a, a key, uh, leader in our reaching out and, and into the workforce into underserved communities and others um, and, and making sure that that is something that uh, we are distinguishing ourselves in, in doing. And so, um, you know, as it pertains to the community, there's a lot of outreach as well. Uh, we have a lot of organizations that, that we're partnered with in order to, to help benefit the community. We also have something called a green team, which is something that we use as, a, as an organization to support uh, environmental sustainability, not just amongst uh, our own uh, use, so to speak, but also on behalf of the clients that we serve. Uh, one of the things that, that we're trying to do is make sure that the clients that, that we serve, who really are a lot of brand household names uh, in, in, the, in the nation, um, that we're helping them become more socially responsible and also helping them be more environmentally conscious by steering them towards environmentally sustainable materials to be used in their packaging and their fill and that sort of thing as well. And so, um, so there's a lot of different manifestations of that, but every time we've, we've taken steps in, in to help improve uh, or show that you know, we're committed to these principles, it, it gives you more points. And those additional points are, are ultimately measured up. And as long as you achieve a score of about 80 out of a possible 200 points, you can be a certified B Corp. And so, um, so I know one of the things that, uh, that Craig actually leans heavily on is on his customers. And I'll let him explain that, but uh, different B Corps have different areas of strength. And our strength is, is right now with us, it's more in our workforce 
and, and in community than it is with customers. But it's it's you do with what you can. You make you do better and you try to create good, so to speak, with uh, with the strengths that you lead with. So. You know, so, that, that's our endeavor. Yeah. So, Craig, you've used some weighting in some different of the categories. So, where have you weighted, and what are the other categories beyond the ones that Tony's talked about? Yeah. So, it's, there's a, a thorough, very thorough assessment, and I believe anyone can take the assessment. But to be certified, there's there's fees to go with it. I'm not certain on that. But on bcorporation.net, it's a very extensive survey. And again, the five areas that Tony mentioned, so the governance of the company, the bylaws were privately held, but if we're sold, we remain a B Corp. That has, that's part of what's written into the, 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 the backbone of the company. Second category is the workers, right? As Tony mentioned, what they do, they have some amazing programs and they've shared some, some ideas with us. Uh, your community outreach and your community impact, your environmental impact. You know, unfortunately, medical devices are plastic and we don't have a lot of options when it comes to certain plastics, but we have certain programs here for tree free paper um, and some other initiatives to help on recycling, etc. And then the last one is customers. And we scored high here because we have uh, oftentimes uh, underserved um, patient population uh, internationally. Uh, countries where they're struggling for resources, our products can have tremendous impact, the patient population, county hospitals, things like that. So we scored higher uh, in, in the customer area. But what's been really neat, as Tony was saying, about trying to get more points, and it's kind of like they say in racing, once you have a time, you have a time to beat. Once you have a score, you know, we have a score to beat. And while the scale goes up to 200, I think I heard something like the highest company going was Patagonia at 150. So I don't know that anybody could really get to 200. But once we got the score and got the team involved in this, it was really neat to, to look at the things where we could get more points. And then one of our managers in one of the meetings said, are we doing it to get more points or are we doing it because it's the right thing to do? And so we've kind of rolled with that, that we're just, we're just gonna do the right thing for the employees, for the environment. And if we get points, that's great, but it's not, Right, You're, we're doing some new initiatives. Yeah, I said on uh, recycling programs and looking at some sharing ideas with, with Tony's company on recyclable um, packaging materials. But um, you, can't, you you start to think about the points, and really, if you do the right thing or make some positive changes, and you get points, it's just icing on the cake. Exactly. Well, I was going to ask about that. So, you know, and I know you both said you felt like you you sort of were operating with B core principles to begin with, but what was it like for your employees uh, to, you know, start embracing this concept? Did you have to make lots of adjustments and how did it affect your culture? And what, what's sort of, how do you make it so that this is not a concept that's like a plan on a shelf that never gets looked at again, that it really is a living, breathing uh, philosophy for the company? Who do you want me to go? Tony, I'll go back yeah. to you. Like, you can go either way. Yeah, go ahead, Craig. Go ahead. Let's, let's hear uh, what you've been doing. So for, for Neotech, um, we had a uh, consultant come reach out to us at the beginning of last year. And he said, hey, you know, you guys are, are ideal to be a B Corp. And in January of 2020, I did not know what a B Corp was. As soon as he informed us of what it was, we kind of said, well, I think we're already there or, or close to it. So. When we rolled through the long assessment and saw a few changes we could make, I, I think our initial score was already over 80. So we didn't have to make any dramatic changes other than the governance and the bylaws that, ha that, that had to be changed. And that was a decent chunk of points. It shows you in the survey, if you do implement this, you can get one point, a half a point, two points, what a quarter of a point. So it's very transparent as to where you can um, improve. But you know, we're, we're a fun place to work. It feels good to work here and make products that make a difference. So we already kind of had this spirit, but it was really neat to put together, you know, a PowerPoint, share it with the staff and, you know, show them that, hey, you're, you're a part of this um, initiative. And it's, it's been great. And what we do to, to keep it rolling is uh, once a month, we gather an individual from each department and not managers, just and they can be different people substituting in and out. But we, and we talk through those five categories. Okay, governance, there's not much we can do each time about that, but 
for the workers, for the community. Do, there's Make a Difference Day. Do we want to participate in that? Um, what else can we do for the environment? We're talking about solar again. Um, so we meet once a month and then share that with the team so it stays stays fresh. And it's, it's really interesting to see the different ideas that come from the different departments and we're obviously very receptive to, to all these ideas. So Tony, how do you sustain that? I mean, sometimes when you're starting something, everybody's really excited, but then you're now to recertification. Uh, first off, how long does, before you get to recertification, and then how do you sustain the momentum along that time period? Well, you know, it's interesting because as Craig alluded to, it was already part of our DNA. It was already ingrained in the culture. So the, the thing that we really needed to do more of was just incorporating the energy that was already in the room and just appointing specific responsibilities to people. Uh, a good for example in that is that because I was so interested in, in participating in B Corp, I was delegated the responsibility of leading the green team, for example. And so now I've drafted a handful of people around the business who are gonna be the lead influencers on our environmental objectives. Um, we've got, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Ken Weissman, uh, one of the, the former CEO, um, is our workforce development officer. He is literally an embodiment of one of the B Corp principles around workforce and workforce development. So we actually have a lead role that is focused on one of those key attributes within B Corp. That is a, a, a half-time job. The other half of his job is, as he likes to say, is being retired. He's AARP, but, but the other half is fully dedicated to B Corp principles. And so we actually have not just committee assignments, if you will, but also some somebody in, in the seat that, of, that has influence who, uh, you know, HR reports, you know, to uh, in a dotted line that basically is an engine for executing on workforce development initiatives uh, that are really tied to those core philosophies and, and to B Corp. And so some of the other ones though, um, around uh, community and, and governance, yeah, we took, we had to, tick off the governance ones initially. Those aren't ones that you have to repeat so much. Um, uh, they just become part of uh, the background, if you will. The, the more active initiatives around workforce, community, and environment are the ones that we are trying to spread. And, and a good, for example, also in, in, in not just sustaining it, but also expanding it is we've grown recently through acquisition. So about a year and a half ago, we acquired a company on the Eastern coast of the United States and based in Philadelphia and Delaware. And I'm visiting them right now, actually. And um, they didn't know what a B Corp was either. Um, and if you roll back a year before that, we were bought by a private equity firm and a private equity firm had never invested in a B Corp before, um, but they were actually uh, in, in sync in our philosophies around B Corp and excited actually to, to join you know, uh, in the endeavor and are uh, very supportive of our um, perpetuating and growing the B Corp philosophy. And so now part of what we're doing as a senior management team is trying to integrate this East Coast business with the West Coast business. And, and we've got it lined up by functional area and we've got a whole separate uh, set of initiatives just related to B Corp. We have a, a whole mandate around integrating them with our B Corp uh, initiatives uh, as well, not just around aligning all the other you know, common functional areas, but also the B Corp areas. So it really is about leading with it. It's, it's about making sure that there is no significant meeting with us and the board or the management team without having B Corp on the agenda somewhere and, and making it part of our daily kind of conversation. That's great. So, you know, in, you know that you know, does keep the culture alive because you have to basically train and bring in and integrate a whole new set of staff, a whole new set of procedures as you, you've done that. Um, as you know, leaders of your organizations, but, you know, let's talk a little bit about practicalities. I mean, you're going through functionally in, in like an audit. Uh, is the documentation hard? Is the cost significant? You know, what, you know, if others who are listening to this or watching this are thinking about it and want to learn more, what would you tell them to expect both good and bad, you know, or, or you know, uh, as they as they explore this concept. Craig, you've done it. You've done the first one. And then we'll ask Tony about the recertification. Right. So, yeah, we're, we we don't know exactly what to um, anticipate, but I've heard they're they're pretty thorough as as with ISO. They're very thorough in what they ask for on an audit. It's a real audit. It's not a pretend uh, thing to get the certification. So, again, if, if people are interested, you go to bcorporation.net and Again, I believe I should know this, but I believe the assessment is free. 
So you can, but it's long. So that the, was there a negative? It was just, it was long. It was a lot of questions. We did it in chunks, you know, uh, over a period of time with our, our friend who's a consultant. But it, it was just, yeah, we do that. Yeah, we do that. No, we don't do that, but we probably should do that. You know, what's, what's the right thing to do? The right thing to do is always the right thing to do, you know, typically. So um, it hasn't been burdensome for us. And, you know, as you were, I know this is a podcast, so not everybody's watching, but as you said, you know, how do you keep the team engaged? We made these cool t-shirts that part of our B corporation is now being the difference. And we're more proactive with <laughs> charitable things and just, uh, it, it, we, we definitely embraced it. And there's really been no burden. There is a financial um, you know, cost to the certification. Uh, and I believe it's typically related to your, your sales volume. But for us, it, it made it official, and we could we could use that stamp. We have it now on all our packaging. And once you once you get it, and once you know about it, you start to see it. You see it on some some stuff at Trader Joe's, or you'll see it on Ben and Jerry's ice cream or Patagonia clothes. Once you once you are aware of the logo, you definitely start to notice it more. Great. Tony, any thoughts on the cert research? Well, the research. You know, in, in many ways, uh, my understanding is the, the recertification actually might have been a little bit even more uh, challenging because anything they might have taken your word for on the front end, they're saying, show us all the documentation that backs it up on the, on the next go round, especially on anything that might have been difficult uh, the first round. Uh, so I would say be, in our situation, being patient was helpful, but also being persistent. Uh, because it took a considerable amount of time to get through the recertification. They're very busy over there because at this point now, uh, B Corp is, is uh, gaining momentum. Uh, and and uh, so it's important just to note that in many cases, you'll have to be patient as they get you through the process. But, um, you know, I think uh, it, it's worth it's worth the time. And, and But we did have, again, you know, somebody uh, in a chair who spent a considerable amount of his time focused on B Corp. Uh, and working with HR to gather documentation predominantly, again, because we're leaning heavily on the workforce side for our documentation and some of the other things are easier to, to, to bear than others. Um, but, uh, but it was a, a very extensive process, but we came out the other side better for it because it re-elevated the conversation in a very detailed way with the team again, some of which are new, including myself. So it gave me and some of the other new members of our executive team uh, a very in-depth uh, view again that only previously the people who went through it the first time had. It almost is a healthy sort of uh, rebirthing, if you will, of, uh, of, uh, of it for all the people who are there at the moment, uh, again, to relive it and, and recommit to it. It's, you know, you're, you really are recommitting in a serious way because uh, there are a lot of programs that we, that we are engaged in that uh, are a, a very, you know, significant investment for us, but we believe in it. So, uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's a pleasure to, to do it. It's just uh, and and it really is now becoming something that we lead with in conversations when we're trying to recruit and retain people, um, because it really does say a lot about who we are as a culture on the front end of a conversation, you know, um, and so it, it really is helpful once you get past the what's a B Corp, <laughs> and once you explain to people what a B Corp is, they they're like. I like the fact that you're a B Corp and I want to be part of that too. That's how I felt. And that's how a lot of the people I've talked to that we recruit are, are after. So I would say, you know, if there are other benefits to it besides the feel good, it actually is good for, you know, uh, recruiting. It's also good for our customer base because a lot of our customers tend to be people who are also socially conscious and environmentally aware and are looking for ways to actually uh, become more like that, uh, and maybe they aren't necessarily aspiring to be B Corps or aren't B Corps, but aspiring to be. But we help because we're kind of synergistic that way. We, we are going to be like minded in the way that we approach business. And it's helped us, uh, you know, uh, attract some very uh, high flying kind of B Corp customers as well. So it's, it's been very holistic that way. It's, it's a virtuous circle. Of, you end up surrounding yourself with other people that are like-minded and, and you want to, you know, share and exchange ideas with like Craig, you know, I, we really enjoy this, you know, relationship that we're developing over the fact that we're both trying to do good. <laughs> and so it feels, it's, it just feels good. So that's, that's another great attribute of the whole thing. So. 
So if I, I can tail on to that, uh, a few things came to mind when, when Tony was mentioning a few things there. But earlier this year, uh, we had the opportunity to present some new develop, developing technology to the Gates Foundation. Slide number one of our presentation was, you know, Neotech is a certified B Corporation, ISO certified, made in USA, but that was, you know, we led with that. And, and like Tony said, it's, and the people that get it are like, that's, that's a huge plus. And then the people you explain about it, what's really what's not to love about it. Um, the sharing of, of resources, especially with AMS, AMS has been great. They're right up the street from us and down the street from us. And they shared some equipment with us, um, talking about some equipment that can take cardboard boxes and turn it into packaging material. And one of us is going to get one of those and share the results with the other and even resources. We have a vendor that does a lot with soy-based ink and tree-free packaging. So we had a meeting down there. So they, they come up with something good and they say, hey, we just, we just started this campaign to recycle batteries. And we were like, oh, we just started that too. And it's really been fun to share things like that. Um, one number I found pretty interesting and I, I did find a source for this. So as of August of last year, from uh, Vogue Business said, had an article, why more brands are becoming B certified. And they said more than 100,000 businesses have signed up for the impact assessment. So likely it is free, so many people have done it, but only 4,000 were B Corporation certified. So we feel like we're, we're in an elite group, but I, I think a lot more people could be, and it would be great if there are more B Corporations out there. It, it really is, as their saying goes, right? business as a force for good and i think we sometimes say business as a source for good and then as we talked with you what is good and and we you know, there's a lot of different good that i think well doing. as far as we know you guys are the only two certified b corporations in the santa Cruz valley i uh, really hope you will not be the only two for very long uh, mm -hmm. because we can raise the the profile of this and i just want to thank you guys for what you do uh, in your businesses generally, but then especially uh, by taking that extra step, uh, becoming a B, uh, certified B corporation. I absolutely agree with the, the philosophy behind it, that businesses uh, as, a, as a source for good, I like that, Craig, and that really, if we're going to solve the problems of this world, uh, we need businesses to be part of that equation. Uh, you know, you guys know, uh, you know, you're both on the EDC board, the, you know, the EDC is as a public-private partnership. It's about bringing all the right players together. So thank you for what you're doing in our community and in your businesses. I really appreciate uh, you joining me today. And for everybody listening, uh, hopefully you've learned more about uh, Certified B Corporations. And uh, please stay tuned to future editions of SCB Means Business. Uh, you can get that on all of your regular podcasts. Uh, stations as well as now that we are doing videos you can uh, find that on YouTube so uh, thanks you all for being here and uh, have a great day thanks Holly thank you Holly